All right. So this is LSD for those LSD dream emulator. <laughs> this one, I think Sun Gaming from uh, Discord made this one. This is from that Sierra Death Generator. It's a really good thing. Um, search Sierra Death Generator. You'll find it. Um, it's really good. That's right, Parker. So, we're going to drop some LSD. This got a zero D rating? I guess it does have violence. Hello? Hello? Hi. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that sound. It's a good sound. You can get that for your PS4, by the way. It's a little too quiet, but I'll adjust it if things look too quiet here. Um... You can get a PS4 theme that gives you the old PS1 sound window. Hello, yes. Would you sit down? I'm all fat and happy. I made a big old steak. Hi, Parker. Would you call me booty down? Hopefully, we don't have battery issues. Because I. <laughs> turns out PS3 controllers don't like only being used every like six months. Just for anyone who hasn't seen it, I think the intro FMV really explains what this game is all about. It shows the deep lore. It really gives you a feeling for the world. And it really helps you appreciate what's going on in the narrative. Oh, speaking of the narrative, there's a thing that I... Oh, crap, where did I put that? Ah! Do not, do not claw! Do not stick your meat claws in my flesh, honey. Honey. Parker. Um, frick, I think I emailed it to myself. Parker! Parker! Keep move! You're being really disruptive. Um, there is a guide for this game that is pretty hard to find, actually. And um, I asked the developer, or I asked the, the writer of the guide if I could upload it. It's a big old PDF. Huge PDF! Um, I asked the developer of it, or the writer, I don't know why I keep saying developer, if I could publish it on my site, because it's on, it's on a single archiving service, and that is the only one that I could find. And I don't even know if it's the latest version of it. I've got it. I forgot to get it before the stream, but I've got it here. Um, I love. I uploaded it to my site already, but you can't access it yet because I don't know. Um, permission, all of that stuff first. It's called um, just Google LSD mapping the madness, and you should find it. Let me FileZilla. Please, let me, let me smash the download. Um, where is this thing? Here we go. So it's, um, you know what, let me show you this directly. Oh, this thing. Yeah, it's several hundred pages. It's, it includes the, um, thing. Um, boo! Why are you blue? You're not supposed to be, um... That's not supposed to be blue. <laughs> that's its attack. Did you- you saw the blue too! You saw the blue- uh, I think that input is dying. That's scary. Um, there's some nice blue Sonicos for you. You- you get the idea! It's- it's not actually blue. Um, weird. I think the HDMI cable here is dying somewhere along the line. That's weird. Um, why is it like this? <laughs> why is, Every time I stream, there's something new that's fucked up. And I... But it's huge. Look at, look at this. Prologue, grasping the ropes, overview controls, the void, the hoop girl. There's like... Um, there's spoilerinos in here. Big spoilerinos. But there is also... Why is the fucking scroll bar this tiny? Um, they also scanned the, um, dream diary. They, they scanned in this door, this dream diary with horse-wearing sneakers. I'm gonna read you some of the dreams from the thing. I won't saturate you with blue too much longer here. We'll go back to this. I don't know why it does that. But I'll read you some of this, and, um, there is a thing. There's a thing in this game, there's a couple things. Um... Controller. Controller settings. What do you mean 1B? Uh, 1A. Are we good? Please?
All right, there we go. There's that good old sound. Oh wait, whoa, 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 whoa. No filtering. Oh, I forgot this does this every time. You gotta go back to normal and you put smoothing off. Wait, what? No smoothing off. There we go. That's what PS1 games look like. All right. Um, hmm. Let me move this over. We can have some more chat. Let's make chat a little bit different here. Height, 720, width like 350. There we go. All right, AC, AC do not steal. I'm, I, I don't remember why we named it that, but it was for a good reason, obviously. The best reasons. Um, all right, we're day. Whoa, we're farther along than we thought. Than I thought. Um, this game ends, quote unquote, and has a special FMV if you go to 360 days, like 365. You know, a year, and then it it loops around. So I do hope to reach that at some point. Oh God. Okay. Whoa. Well, we're in the kanji texture. So for those not familiar with the game, um, this it has this big world. Well, big for like PS1 kind of. It's, it's not that big. Um, but um, there's a bunch of different texture effects that can happen. Is it quiet for you? Oh, it's super quiet. Why is it so quiet? Oh, there, there's that good sound. All right, how is it? That's like the loudest sound in this entire game. How loud is that? I'm so sorry for that. Oh no, I can't get out of- I can't get out of the squeak zone! Alright, here we go. Out of the squeak zone. So, there's a few things that can do FMVs. Um... Frick. Where? Oh my god. Edge sucks. It's... The- the shrinks the thing. All right, where is the FMVs? The world. FMV finishers. There we go. Four. All right, so you want to see all the FMV finishers if you can. Um, the gear room has one apparently. We've been to the gear room many times. I don't think we've gotten that one. I could be wrong though. It's been a while. Stop taping mice to the bottoms of your feet. No! I'm an American and I can do what I want. God damn it. Okay, this is a really good room. I wish there was more rooms like this. If this is the room, I think it is. Oh, this is the other. Oh, this is the exit. Wait, does this wall? I think the the linkings in this game feels like it's totally random, but it's actually there's actually some logic to it. It just takes a huge amount of like work to figure it out. The um, the mapping the madness guide actually does an impress impressive job. Um, I think the the mechanics of this game actually like change themselves. Like they they seem to not be completely consistent. Like the whole thing with the, the map. If that's not totally random, there's definitely some madness in it. Because you can get some very unusual effects. Okay, I think it is a bit. Oh, now that's me. Alright, I think that's a bit better. So yeah, there's this thing. This room happens a lot. Minecraft on it. I guess it almost kind of has the aesthetic of Minecraft. Where's that? All right, so I need I need two things opened up here. I also have a nice printout of all of the um, stories that can tell. Um, map. There is a map in this game. Oh, frick, not that. Um, navigating the dream, the shadow man. 
Uh, frick. There was a nice map somewhere on here that the the guy has a um a contents list, and it, I'm sorry, but it's terrible. <laughs> it's not very good at for actually navigating um, the info that you want to find. Here we go. Okay, I found the map. Okay, so now we are here. Um, there's there's two different things that I don't know if we've seen. This is the father and daughter thing. I want to kind of find that. Unfortunately, once you're in this map, this is the biggest map by far. Once you're here, it's really hard to figure out where you are. And plus, days end. Like, you wake up basically after a certain amount of time, or maybe it's random. So, it's not like you have infinite time to find out where you're trying to go either. So, that can be frustrating. Double rainbow! Double rainbow all the way across the sky. And there's kind of something in the distance there. There's a pixel. Do you like pixels? I like pixels. There's a there's a white one over there. I hope you like white brand pixels. That's a good one. All right. So double rainbow. Is that on the map? Hold on. Giant floating crystal. I think we did see that, didn't we? Frick. This is not on the map that I have. The map? Ugh. Video is buffering like mad for me? Um, I... Th I that might just be Mediacom. I can drop the bitrate again. Oh, see, I just woke up. I seem to be fine right now, but I've dropped 10% of frames, even though I'm streaming at one... I'm now at one megabit. Which is incredible. I pay for 12, by the way. And they offer plans for up to, like, 25 uh, megabits up, but, like, why would I pay for something if I'm gonna get, like, less than 10% of it? I like the music. The music's randomly generated-ish. Um... Like, the, the instruments are set, and there's kind of, like, different songs, like, bass songs that it plays, but there's also, like, randomness applied to it. You get some pretty, some pretty good bangers. Bangers and mash. I love this floor. I love meat floor. Oh my god, I'm so slow. Also, if I... I think you can link to a specific place by going into this painting. Yeah! If you link there, it goes straight to this thing. You can get here from random ways as well. But um, this is one of those things where I never realized it was, like, um, consistent. <laughs> Speaking of consistent, that thing can either let you go and link you somewhere else or it kicks you back out. It's kind of annoying. I love this PS1 aesthetic, by the way. I, w I love... I want more games. No, don't do that! Let me fall in. Oh, there we go. I want more stuff like this. Speaking of, we're gonna probably at some point stream some Mega Man Legends. I've got one, two, and um... There's the moon. <laughs> we're going into hyperspace, kids. Um... I've got Mega Man Legends 1, 2, and Misadventures of Tron Bond, so we can play that at some point. Those are all on, um, ooh, I love, love Pizza Floor. Um, I love Pizza Floor, and I love this ridge, this, this mountain texture. Uh, oh, plants! Plants! I don't think we've seen those before. Take me to your people. Oh, they just disappear. This is one of those games you have to play hundreds and hundreds of hours to figure out the shit. Yeah, like, people thought this game didn't have- oh, fuck off. People thought this game didn't have an ending for, like, years. Even though the ending- oh, Aurora Borealis! Um, even though the ending seems like it was fairly obvious. I'm so sorry about that sound. Is the audio balance okay now? It looks maybe a little quiet. But the sound can get a little bit shitty in this, so maybe it's good. I'm gonna get run over by a fucking train. Let's ride the ferris wheel. Oh. Are you not the ferris wheel? Big 
it. About half of that PDF is um, the dream journal thing. Hey, let me read you some of the some of the dreams in here. Um, does that? All right. Oh, whoa! They've actually mapped. Um, they actually made little maps of the areas. Um, so there's a map of Kyoto. Um, looks like this was made by a Japanese fan. Or maybe this was from the book. I don't know. It's marked up with kanji. Um, is there a map of the big... I want a map of the grassland. Uh, Bright Moon Cottage. Bright Moon Cottage is mapped well. Yeah, there's like every NPC in the game is enumerated in that guide. It's really well done. Um, so you can see everything. There's the dying person. We saw them. Freaking teddy bear. Um, but what I wanted to look at is... Tuesday, May 30th, 1995. This is from the dream journal that like was compiled to make this game. The, uh, the creator wrote down their dreams for like a year, and they used a bunch of that to make this game. So this is from Tuesday, May 30th, or 30th. On top of the washing machine is a strange looking, worm-like, squid-like, octopus-like creature with lots of slimy legs. Come to think of it, maybe this thing's always been there by the faucet of the washing machine. So turn the water in the sink the by the washing machine, the creature slimes over towards the sink. As if this is really hard to read. They, they do not understand contrast. As if it was attracted to the water. It's disgusting, but there's nothing I can do about it. When I sprinkle water on it, it twists its body as if it was sick. I want to shove the thing back into, into the washing machine. But it's not working. I keep splashing water on it. It flails between the sink and the washing machine. It slimes around down there. Oh, great. Hello, friends. How you doing? How you doing? A day full of dead bodies, Tuesday, June 6th, 1995. Oh, this is a good texture. Who's, who's this man? Who this man? Why he everywhere? A house in Gion. Whatever that means. Um, there are a few dead bodies about. One has no head, others are seriously maimed. My mother and some friends had their hands in the coffins, and are sewing up wounds and reattaching the severed head with needles and thread. They are working calmly as if it were housework. At a sunny church across the street, a police is holding a little girl, trying to bring her into the church. There are bodies of children lying in the recesses of the church. Just good old Catholic church things. All right, you have to save this game because um, it crashes. I forgot to do that. This dude has very interesting dreams. A violent town, a headless man. Oh, here we go. Hello, Mr. Tedders. You want me to take go into the TV? I don't see a problem with that. Oh, this is my jam right here. Oh, that's not my jam. That's fucking jammed into my ear hole. There's a man who has more than half his head chopped off. With his wife, he's looking for the criminal who did it to him. I'm impressed to see how a man can walk around and talk, even with his head wide open, and without his brain. He says to me that the spinal cord is all he needs. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's all you need, buddy. That kind of makes sense, I guess. And yet, everything is also bloody. With someone else, I'm holding down an, an effeminate yet masculine human. She won't stop moving around even though I hold both of her wrists. Maybe she is so powerful because her body has been possessed by some kind of monster. The kerning in this is appalling, by the way. I tie her arms together, bring the rope around her back, and connect it to her bound ankles. She wouldn't be able to move now. Why am I holding her down? I have no idea. Is it because it's a violent town? That's the violence district, I guess. We're gonna go on the Ferris wheel. All aboard the Ferris wheel, kids. There we go. We've seen this a few times, but why not? This is the easiest FMV to get. But yeah, the kerning is like, the kerning thinks it's Japanese text, basically. 
Which is to say there is no kerning. It's just gaps. Evenly it's all mono space with like really wide gaps. It's it sucks to read. Monday, April 10th, 1995, a skating rink the dark side of a dream town. A skating rink near the drive-in, where it's always dark, day or night. I see Kyoto... Kyoko Kuzil... Kuzimi there, skating. With her boyfriend. I'm skating too, skating while crouching and holding my ankles. With my hands. That seems unsafe. This, the feeling of skating is unbelievably real. Then, looking over to the coffee boy by the rink, Wait, in a coffee shop by the rink. I realize that this is the usual place of my dreams. If I go straight on the road outside, there'll be grounds of a shrine I went to at that time. A Japanese restaurant I didn't go into last time. Yet the Kyoto of my dreams has been through some changes lately. It's becoming more and more like a modern city. Although the mysterious and scary impression still remains the same. It's like a town of darkness. I'm always entering dreamscapes and feeling the closeness of the dream places I've seen before. So if you write a dream journal, apparently... Um, a lot of people end up having like more lucid dreams and re remember a lot more of their dreams. So I guess part of that may be why they had like more connected dreams. I should try that. I usually just have like have dreams and get immediately interrupted by like Parker or something, and I forget them. I don't remember any interesting dreams too much lately, honestly. Try not. Oh, I can't walk across this one. Ship. Is this? This game has amazing controls, by the way. Um, this place is so hard to get around in. You'd think I've, I've played this, you know, 120 days. Oops. You'd think I'd be able to get around, but you would be completely wrong. Uh, well, I can't walk on that water. What I need to get is to the southeast, but it's so hard to tell which way anything is. The easiest way is to leave Kyoto, I think. Oh, this might be it. Or there's, there's, I'm trying to find the father-daughter island. I know there's a lot of walk -em up things. Bridges! <laughs> I just, you know, whatever those are called. The things that you walk on over gaps. This feels like it has to be. There's so many goddamn bridges here. I can't fucking see anything. This is like what- this is what it's like to see when you have no eyes. And like, there's just like, needles in the sockets. You see this. It's bad. Southwest? Is this the southwest? Maybe. Oh yeah, that's the map. Oh, you're right. Well, let's try and look at the map before we wake up then. We can't make it to the other side of the map. If you have any ability to guide me, I'm trying to go to the southeast. With the um, father-daughter islands and stuff. There's a couple of things there I want to see. This, I have to press, I don't have to press, but like, the PS1, this doesn't use the DualShock. And like, I have to, I press in the D-pad so hard, because it's the PS3 D-pad. It's not, it's not the best D-pad. Um, it kind of hurts. I'll deal, but, fuck. Is there, actually, is there a way? Uh, other settings, screen mode, smoothing off, controller settings, digital... On, on pause. Uh, on. Fuck. Okay, I don't think this accepts analog mode. Okay, yeah, it, it you can't use analog mode with this apparently. So weird. The the PS One emulation isn't the best on PS Three. Actually, I'm not sure if it's even emulation. Uh, it might be hardware emulation, but like, you can't- there's- there's not many options. So I have to just keep hurting my hand like this. 
I try not to press it too hard, but I don't know. It's not a good D-pad. I would say it, it hurts your hands more, but it's better. It's more functional than the 360 D-pad. I, I don't like either of them. The PS4 D-pad is so much better. Oh! Th wait, there we are! These are the father and daughter islands. There's something else here too, but I don't think we got it this time. Uh, this is supposed to be a father and daughter, by the way. You can you can kind of tell. You can kind of tell. I want to get, get here again. Oh, oh! Magical kiss crap! <laughs> Magical castle land. I don't think we've seen that either. See, there's quite a few things here. There's even one more thing. Which I think it might be too late to have triggered. There's not too many things left for us to see, unfortunately. Oh, here's the map. I think there's a, is there a map in every corner? I think we're there. We're at the bottom right there. Submerged violence district, father and daughter. I forget exactly how you find it. I think it might be a percentage-based thing. This game is kind of like Yumi Nikki with the events, where there's like certain things that may not happen. And it just may need a different dream. Plus, this palette is not helping in our finding of things. But, um, it's also kind of neat, so. Anything happen if I look out here? Man, it's so pink today. It's all the estrogen in the water. It's finally gotten into the plants. It's made the grass freaking gay. Like, I don't like the quietness. It weirds me out. I hate when games are quiet. Oh my god, this is, I'm sorry, but this is hurting my hand a lot, actually. I didn't remember it being quite this rough. Ah, frick. Yeah, we'll have to come back here, because uh, there's definitely something else that can happen. Oh! You can't touch them. You just go right through them. Oh, it's back to this, huh? If we go to the gearbox room, I think there's an FMV we missed. You just have to look at the weird machine in it. Ooh, Violence District. There's a few percentage-based things in the Violence District that seem really hard to find. Uh, I noticed a couple that I've never seen before. There's a freaking ghost. And there's a thing that can happen near the pier that I'll try to get to happen. This is a lot like Yumi Nikki um, in that... It's a lot like you and Nikki in basically every way. But, um, well, there's Headless Lady. And she'll wake us up, so let's not so go see Headless Lady. Tis a silly place. I think... I think I'm pressing forward harder to, like, try to walk faster. But that's not how it works. It's so freaking stiff. Um... And it crashed. <laughs> Frick. I'm so glad that there's not like... Um, like there's no real progress other than just X amount of days because yeah, the game just freaking crashes sometimes. But oh well. Sad thing is, I'm pretty sure the day is already generated so we're gonna have to see the same day, but oh well. We saw father and daughter in the castle. Neck stiff. Yeah, I was thinking um, yesterday's stream. We need to check out Seaman at some point for for Dreamcast. AC, do not steal. <laughs> what? What was I talking about? I, that was obviously originally OC, do not steal, but I I don't remember. I don't remember why. The most cursed content, yes. <laughs> okay, this is different-ish. No, I, it's, it's still pink. There's an LSD revamped project trying to like port it to PC and let people add their own dream packs and stuff basically. Um, 
I don't think it ever got finished though, unfortunately. Air conditioning do not steal. Oh, frick frack. Is this where all those bridges were? Because there is another really cool thing. Oh, this is the missile silo. There's a bunch of fun things to see like this and this. AC Slater do not steal. Zoop! Well. Ah, motherland! not sound like a missile launch, but yeah, hopefully that gets finished someday, but I don't know what happened with that. Fan pro There's a reason with fan projects, I don't usually cover them until they're like complete or mostly complete. There's Mr. Fishman. How you doing, Mr. Fishman? You doing good? How's the kids? Oh, you ate them all. Well, better luck next time. Fish are weird. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, Pokemon Masters is like coming out, I guess tomorrow, um, in like test markets. Hopefully I can get an APK of it. I already started a guide for it. Not sure about adding fan dreams to the game. Um, but it's like, it would let you like add, create your own texture packs and stuff. It would be cool. Um, obviously it wouldn't be the default state of it. I think as a platform, it would actually make a lot of sense for LSD to be like a platform to inject your own weird crap. And like, you know, you make a bunch of maps, like somebody can make a bunch of maps and somebody can make a bunch of texture packs and stuff. And you can just see weird shit. Um, oh, there's father and daughter again. It is the same dream then. I think the texture is a little different though. By the terms, this is a discrete entity snapshot to the mind of a single person at a single point in time. It is, though, um... I mean, you could make a whole pack. Like, you could make the equivalent of, like, a whole... thing arena. Like, a total conversion. Just like Yumi Nikki fan games, basically. But it would be nice to just have that tool out there. Um, kind of like RPG Maker already is a tool, basically, for making Yumi Nikki style things. That's, that's what... That's what Yumi Nikki was made in. Um, let's look at what the father and daughter are made out of now. That seems so ominous, that little... mini plateau, or not plateau, peninsula... popping out there. It just feels like there should be something there. There's a certain something around here. I don't think it's gonna appear because the father and daughter are here. Man, you gotta cover a lot of ground to get around here. <laughs> that's that's freaking spooky. That's that's spooky. It's spooky in here. It's crazy in here. I'm gonna keep on going. I'm Knuckles. Don't speak to me or my daughter ever again. Oh, look at that! It's like spy- Oh god! What? Oh no! Mr. Castle, please, no! Okay. Do not look at the castle. Got it. Is this- That's new! <laughs> okay. That was definitely new, yes. Okay, so that- do not look at the castle. I like this meat house. Like these no these other houses are like a little bit screwed up. And then there's like turtle meat house. I wanna live in turtle meat house. It probably smells though. That's the problem with turtle meat house. Coomst. Oh, that's like the old granny. She's just got different textures. She looks terrifying, actually. That is not the gushing granny I'm familiar with. Um, let's just leave her be. I love seeing all the things with the different textures. Like, I wonder what the texture originally was on that freaking thing that we just saw. Um, 
I'm, I'm not sure it would be much less scary with any different- Oh, fuck you! Aww. Oh. He steals your dream progress. I, I don't think it actually matters, though. Um, cause you just- if you just want to get to the FMV things. Like, your dream progress doesn't actually matter. Apparently... Um... There's one FMV that triggers based on matching certain tiles. I think we got it a long time ago. It was that really long segment of FMVs taped together. Mr. Bunners! Mr. Bunners, welcome me into a world of oh my god. His mouth is a person's face. I didn't need to sleep tonight, that's fine. His mouth isn't traditional Japanese painting of a- ah! Don't do that! It's a painting of a dude. Ah, yes, we're at the top of Kyoto now. This freaking Mr. Moon Man is a little bit too close. <laughs> 24 hours remain. I think out here you can see a thing. There's like a thing in the darkness, or in the skies. I mean, it's darkness now, but... It's one of those weird places you only get to by linking. So a bunch of the map, like 80% of the map or so is congruous, and you can walk from one end to the other. Um, this area is not, but you can link. There's apparently some places that you can link to consistently. Mr. Bunners. Yeah, we need a clip of Mr. Bunners and we need a clip of the, um, we need a clip of that thing. Um, the devil. That was... That was big! There's not usually things like that in this game, but that's why I love finding stuff like that. Unfortunately, I... I took a quick look through the guide. Um, we have seen pretty much all of the NPCs. There's a few random things in the, um... Who's he wants it zone? The violence district. So, if we get to the violence district, I'll try and find all those things that I can get. Even the sky is pink. Well, some of the sky is pink. Pink fog. Yeah, we need a clip of that. It's too late to get a clip right now, but I think you can... Can you get a clip from a VOD? I, I don't know how this crap works on Twitch. I don't usually do clips, so I'm, you know, doing the stream. Oop! It's wake-up time. I love how this, like, it's supposed to be, like, the alien dudes on the corner, right? But it's just been, like, shotgunned out of existence. Alright, you can't do a flashback. That's right. You just can't do a flashback if uh, the man in gray gets you. So we can't go back. Um, let's do the thing. Ah, oh, good sounds. I'm gonna call this Mr. Bunners. Probably gonna give up long before. Mr. Oh, this takes forever. Mr. Bont. Mr. Bunt. Don't. Miss. Uh. Mr. Bun. Oh, this is so bad. M m m Mr. Bun. Mr. Bunners. Mr. Butter Squeal. Yes. Mr. Butter Squeal. I'm not gonna clear the rest, it takes forever. Alright. We have about a hundred more days left, unfortunately. And I don't know if there's really a way to speed run through days in this. I would like to see the ending FMV. If we get fed up with it- Ooh! This is a rare texture. Rare. Um... One of the creepier ones, too. I like it. Let's see what Mr. Face Man looks like. Is Mr. Face Man over here? Oh my god, guys. The... <laughs> my... My, um... Fireplace is faces. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Alright, let's see if Mr. What's... Oh! I touched a wall, apparently. It's kinda hard not to touch walls, and touching walls links you to places. Back to Kyoto. If I can find my damn way out of Kyoto, 
I think it's, it takes so long to realize this place is congruous. It just feels like everything is random, but once you really start to get familiar with places, you realize if you're in a certain place, you can leave and go to different places. If nothing bumps into you and like links you somewhere else. Oh yeah, there's another game like this. Uh, I forget what it's called. I've got it. I've got it in my bookmark somewhere. Um, Nera. Germs Narawada Machi. I'll put a link in the chat. Um, it's a lot like this, actually. It's even a PS1 game. It's this weird Japanese-only, like, surreal murder mystery thing. But there's no actual ending, and it's, um... It's just really surreal like this game is. What's with the pink fog? Everything is pink fog today. This goes into the place with sta stacked chairs, isn't it? Pew 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 pew. Pew 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 pew. Now that is skill. That is pure skill right there. Bouncing the ball off, off of nothing. <laughs> these are the textures, I think. And these are the style, anyway, of the happy town. All the places have names, too. What the hell? Oh, that's the stacked chairs. Impressive stuff right there. Oh, that's freaking. That's delightful. Look at that. Oop! Oh, I touched the chairs. I was trying to look at the face on the ceiling. <laughs> I warped into the same room, but with different textures. I love how that. I love how that be. We're in some really good, unstable texture territory. Unfortunately, the game kind of cycles through, and we'll eventually get back to a point where the textures are kind of default for a while. It's always a little bit... a little bit boring, unfortunately. He's still playing with nobody. Sometimes there is a buddy that he's playing with. So how's everybody's week been? I've been trying to... I'm kind of hoping to bring back the Chill Wednesdays streams. We just kind of play something chill like this, or Dwarf Fortress, or Birthday's the Beginning. Um, maybe Harvest Moon? It's beauteous music of my people. Is the music? That looks quiet. I'll turn it up a little bit for you. But yeah, you and uh, Capitalist had power outages, right? That's That sucks. I haven't had a bad... I haven't had a bad power outage like that in a while, uh, here. We did lose power on Christmas, on Crimbus Day, um, right before a stream, in fact, but, um, it was only for, like, 30 minutes. 35, 36,000 people, or three, three, yeah, 360,000 people without power. That sucks. Put them all back in record time. Good. Whoa. There's a speed limit, young lady. Oh, that's a good texture. That is a good-ass texture. Oh my god, that is a good texture. This is what I need to see when I wake up. Just paint this on my ceiling. I'll wake up in record time every day. And there's like, brain anuses, or brainuses, if you prefer. Oh, it's the same texture! Oh! That's a fuck- that is a good texture! How have I never seen that texture before? This is a f good floor texture, too. We're getting on the good- oh, This is the good texture zone. I never want to leave. I love textures. This is the It's like freaking Aztec Eggman. <laughs> and this beautiful man. This looks like a character from Lisa. This is a painful RPG. I for one welcome our Aztec Robotnik overlords. Actually, no, he looks like one of those Olmec heads, specifically. Frickin' why, why the pink sky every time? Pink sky. This is a neat effect, but actually I think that... I guess the fog... The fog is not pink. The fog is blue now. K 
Kitten. You guys want to go to Lion Kitten? Um, let's go to Lion Kitten. Lion Kitten is this way. I think they're called cubs, but they can be kittens too. Do not, do not judge. Oh. He lied to me. There's no Lion Kittens here. I love this trees with like 15 quotation marks. These are good trees. This is what trees used to be. Kids these days don't know. But back in the 90s, this is what trees were like. This is just what trees were. You just went outside and you walked up to one of those and you're like, hey, thanks for the oxygen. And it didn't say anything back because it was a tree. Yeah, the good texture is gone. Uh, Freaking raptors. Okay, I don't... Have we seen this? Vultures or raptors or something. Next, too short to be vultures. There's a train somewhere. It's, oh yeah, spiky crystal land! I love freaking big old crystals. I'm a huge sucker for that aesthetic. The magical crystal zone. I must go in. I must touch the crystal. Oh, good music unlocked. I imagine the random like music generation tool was probably actually pretty groundbreaking at the time. Like now, there's that like algorithm thing, but. This was like, you know, obviously PS1 era. That must have been pretty early. Stuff like that. Cause I mean, it's not just completely random notes. There's like something to it. Who, who, who is this man? I think that might be God. It kind of sounds like God. It's just a polygon with like hands and pants. There's no, there's nothing above the pants. But let's read some different. Um, this comics even wow, it's comics in the book. Um, Saturday, November nineteenth, nineteen ninety four. Gaming experience inside a big athletic hall. There's an enormous swimming pool. It's not filled with water, but with some kind of soft air-like stuff that would let me play around in zero gravity. I can experience games there like a virtual reality. I have to find the penguins there. The idea of playing a game in such a huge space is exciting. I have to find the penguins, guys. I've gotta find the penguins. Mr. Penguin Man. Yeah, this book, I'm gonna, we're gonna show you the blue again. Hopefully it's not blue, but I, I don't know why it goes blue. Um, switch. Switch, you fuck. Okay. There we go. Yeah, it's blue. I don't know why it's... Ugh, whatever. Let me look at my NVIDIA control panel. But I was just trying to show you. There's, uh, there's like artist renderings of like the weird creator, creatures... Cretans in in the thing. Um, which monitor is which? I don't know which one is which. This one. This one. Uh, video color settings. Here we go. Maybe. Oh! That's a bit better. It's desaturated now, though. It's not, um... Yeah, it's not full color. Uh... Full dynamic range. There we go! 
There we go. Sorry for the live troubleshooting, but I was like, what is going on here? Yeah, there's this man. I don't even know what that's supposed to be. Um, here's that. Here's the comics I was talking about. Um, can I full size screen this? How do I full screen? Oh, it doesn't matter. Um, there's comics. There's um, there's the squid, dolphin, crab monster, whatever this was. There's a little tentacle. Body, body, head, body, head. <laughs> so I like the I like the art style they got going on with this thing. Yeah, the book thing. The book thing is neat. These are some of the dreams are only in Japanese. I can try with my Google Translate, but a lot of them are just in English. Here's that kerning issue I was talking about, by the way. I'm not made up. I'm not lying. I wouldn't lie to y'all. Go, go away. There we go. Um, oh, and you can see Kyoto in the background there. There's that man. Yeah, this is some book that they released um, with the the original Dream Diary and like artist rendition of a bunch of stuff. There's this thing, and it's included in the guide. That's half or so. Oh, there's a boober. Sorry, I'm so sorry. I did not give a boober warning. You're all indecent and must be called now. I'm so sorry. Symmetrical twins. It looks like the old woman next door has gone crazy. She's forcing me to eat a big bowl with lots of rice grains stuck to it. <laughs> what? My great grandmother has become symmetrical twins. She would usually help me, but not today. <laughs> okay. Hey, hey, Grandma, G-Moms, um, the, the lady next door is making me eat a big bowl and it's got some grain stuck to it. C could you help me out? No, honey, I've become symmetrical twins. Oh, well, there's the twins. There they is. It sucks. It sucks when your grandma has become twins. But yeah, the um, the text the text is obviously not made by someone that actually <laughs> uses English. Um, but that's kind of to be expected. It was made for a Japanese audience. Um, three. Switch. Switch, there you go. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's a little hard to read, but I'll read it for you. Making lots of objects. Hold on. Why is it all fucking now? There we go. Making lots of objects. Dolls. Uh, dolls or something similar. Maybe machines, they're alive, extremely frail, painfully weak. It's like they're born having only a short time to live. They're white, shaped like young girls, and their bodies grow wings like dragonflies. It's a picture of the dragonfly lady. Oh, I love the, I love the whistle. Blow your whistle! Blow your whistle! Sometimes he just books it some downstairs. Sometimes it takes like 18 billion years. Oh. Can I get an F in the chat? Oop! Didn't mean to step into you, sorry. That seems rude. Ooh! <laughs> I love that it just honks like 500,000 times. Bloops! Can I get a second F in the chat? <laughs> Alright, there's a plane apparently around here. Oh, I love this sound. There's an easy to miss plane thing that happens around here. There's a lot of stuff in the plane district. Have you been to the plane district down on third? Oh, there's the sailor? Maybe? How loud does that look? Oh, it's not too bad. This is how beautiful music is made. You tape gauntlets to the bottom of your feet and you walk around up here. There's a freaking. This is the world's smallest steamboat. 
That boat, <laughs> it's supposed to be forced perspective, but let's be real here. That boat is about 40 feet long and like eight feet tall. Oop, frick. I wish it was a little harder to accidentally bump into walls and link. We're in the desert now. Oh, normal textures seem to be a thing now again. That's unfortunate, but it had to happen sometime. Maybe we can find that weird thing. The giant skull demon. Oops, fuck. Maybe we can find that giant skull demon fuck. Um, with the thing, video real one. Um, here we go. Um, just trying to find that map. We're in the top left here. It's the crystals. I'm actually kind of amazed how long it took me to get used to the game and feel like there's actually some cohesion to the thing. Hey guys, we made it to Area 51! Let's Naruto run. Yes. I swear, somebody's actually gonna go to Area 51 and get, like, shot because of that. I don't know why Facebook, like, allowed that to be posted. I I'm sure somebody's actually gonna do it. Natural selection. Pretty much. Is there a freaking alien behind me or something? Yes, there's still are. Doesn't seem to be the face. There's like a face that's supposed to be around here. This is the crystals, right? Yeah, I, I swear I was like a hundred days in or more before we found that map, and I was like, oh my god, there's a map? The, the things aren't just random and shit doesn't just like happen? Oh, I thought the cat face was because of a texture. Th that's just. This sign is just always useless, isn't it? There's the crystal. face over here, but like I said, this some things need to be percentage-based, and like, you can't always get them. Can't always get what you want. For, for New Year, not New Year's, for April Fool's, I was really tempted to like, play like, Fortnite as Kermit, as MLG Kermit, and like, be MLG and stuff, but... I wasn't really sure. I would be up for doing a Kermit voice for like an hour plus. And I don't really know if I actually want to play Fortnite for that long just for a joke. Oh! Oh! I thought it crashed. <laughs> I was- I'm just ready for the crash at this point. Oh yeah, but as far as completing the map is actually impossible by the way because the- the things fade. So there's like 600 places on the map, and I think it only keeps like a uh, hundred or two So yeah, you can't fill in the map that was apparently a theory for how to beat the game for a while I mean it's a pretty obvious one, but it Doesn't work that way Another good music detected Well, Mr. Sun I'm Very red today <laughs> Imagine you open your window and you just see that one day like, huh. Human sun. I like it. Now, speaking of, like, me being lost in this place, I have no idea how to get out of Kyoto. I've been in this map hundreds of times. And I don't know how to get out of here. I know there is a way. I guess just hug the walls, but... Something about the maps in this game is very hard to, like, internalize. I guess partly it's because you're always dumped in at a random point, and there's different textures and crap, and it's very hard to get used to things. There's also a button that a lot of any- er, a lot of, well... A lot of PS1 games have this button that just makes you look behind you. Doesn't seem very useful. 
especially in this game, that you can run back, you can run while looking completely behind yourself, which is actually pretty impressive. There's the gong that I strapped to my feet a little bit ago. Oh, is that the city gate? I think we're actually in a really good position to get a certain NPC from here. Oh, I love this music. I love the falling up the stairs music. I think we just want to go left from here. Oh. Mediacom? Mediacom, please. Oh, are, are we back? Google Fiber, I would pay you 200 bucks a month, no problem. You just come here and give me internet. It doesn't even really have to be Fiber. Just just anybody that's not Mediacom that can give me more than 5 megabits per second, please. Save. Pray for Mojo. I think I went the wrong hecking way. the map would mark where you are. Uh, I think this is, I think this is the north. Yeah, 5 is really all I need to stream anything, really. I could stream anything in really solid quality with 5. Um... Oh wait, no, this is the place, this is the place. I want to see that demon in, um, regular texture land. We can see the mother and father, too. Demon is more important. I'm so glad we found that. That was awesome. I was kind of afraid there wouldn't be any more things like that. Well, it's not happening this time. Oh, nothing to this! Hello! He's like made out of wood. <laughs> that still got a little jump out of me. Am I in the? Am I in this? Oh no, I'm on a bridge. What makes me a good demon man? It's freaking this view distance. It's like playing Turok. We only got half his face that time. He forces a link too. It seems like I guess it just sends you in here too. Kind of a benign link. So, as far as things that we, I kind of want to see, um, there's a couple things in the violence district that seem random, and there is one thing, there's an FMV finisher in the, I love this texture by the way, there's an FMV finisher in the gear room, which I don't know how to get to. Hey Catbust. Alright, so here's another dream. Uh, Wednesday, August 7, 1991. They've been keeping that dream diary for a long time. I'm out with an older woman to see some unusual architecture. It's an apartment complex, and there are red and blue wicker baskets hanging inside the rooms. The combination of red and blue baskets seems to be what makes this architecture unique. <laughs> what? Um... The red and blue together look like something like modern art, but the room is a trendy, cluttered with miscellany. I can't move at all because of the laundry and things everywhere. It seems that an old couple lives here. I'm just standing in the room, amazed at the clutter. I can see a row of red and blue baskets in a room over in the other wing. The woman I'm with is walking around the room. This is my face right now. The face when you're a brick wall. I'm just gonna let you see this texture while I read this. As I walk, um, I can see row. I feel like there's no point in looking around here anymore. As I walk out of the scattered room, 
After thanking the old couple, I can see the woman standing in front of me. It's like a courtyard out of where we came to the building. There's a small sunken public bath in the center. I can see bathtubs in an open space beyond a small passage, barely large enough for a small child to squeeze through. I bend forward and peer through the small passage to see what it's like back there. Huh. Oh, you just saw the demon? Good stuff. That's that's probably the biggest thing that we missed, um, other than maybe the ending cutscene. It's kind of unfortunate that, like, finding a highlights for this would be, like... I would have had to, like, add stream markers. I need to get used to doing that. Um, that would simplify probably the making of, like, highlight videos and stuff. Add stream marker. Yeah, I need to start doing that. Um, nice carpet, by the way. Very modern. Yeah, going through the videos, what are we at, like, 8 or 10? The face, I love that the, the wall is faces. And the faces turn into an even bigger face. They're like Pikmin, except Pikmin don't do that at all. They're like v Voltron. All the small faces turn into a very big face. very slowly getting a feel for this map. I think... Is there any way to quickly wake up or like end a dream? Can you just... Does linking give you a higher chance of waking up, I think, maybe? I hate to rush too much, but we have seen most of the things. There are a couple of weird things that are in the guide that I can kind of show you. Um... Eh? I love that texture down there. It's good stuff. <laughs> I was... I was not prepared for that. I've, I've probably seen that before, too. But I was... That's... That's incredible. <laughs> that's... That's a really good... That's a really good face. I approve of that. Where the hell am I? Oh, good jam alert! Freaking pink, pink sky and blue, and it crashed. Oh no, I woke up. I, I keep expecting to crash. But yeah, that 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 that, oh, that was a great sun, or whatever that was. Sun gaming face reveal? Question mark. <laughs> there's there's art of the blue hanging blue and red hanging baskets, in the in the. Uh, Dream Diary. Wednesday, August 7th, 1991. A weird world inside a video. That's what you're watching right now, my friends. While watching a video, I found myself inside of its world. There are unfamiliar gigantic animals and flowers everywhere. They're colorful, too. I feel like I'm lost in a world of animals and colors and flowers made with a Macintosh. Square-shaped dinosaurs and gigantic flowers with dozens of layers of strange petals. I see a mountain over there. Looks like they're all wandering towards the mountain. Maybe the holes were made for them. Freaking seeming like blood on the floor here. I guess it's just like red-colored wood, but with the pixelness of it, it looks like blood. Spooky. Spooky. For some reason, that just remind. I guess the. The climbing a big Shinto staircase thing. Uh, I never finished Valkyrie Drive in English. I need to finish that up. Maybe I'll stream it. That's another big titty, not ninja, but like fighty game. How you doing, Mr. Moon? Hmm. Isn't there supposed to be sky here? I guess it's nighttime, and nighttime is just pure black here. I need to find out how to get to the, um... I'm seeing the airplane. So I'm looking at the FMVs, right? 
the, the FMV finishes. One of them is for looking at the structure in the gears room. I don't know. I don't remember if we've done that or not, but I want to get to the gears room just to see it either way. Um, looking at the ghost in the warehouse number four in the violence district. Once we're riding the Ferris wheel, we got that. Once we're witnessing the airplane at the uh, foot at the um, violence district. So we need to get to the damn violence district. It's just hard to get there. In fact, I didn't believe it was on the map, but it actually is. It's in a very hard to get to place in the southeast, I think. Whoa. Okay. Whomst? Oh, that's. Oh! Hello, ladies! That's not. Oh. It looks like it has a front butt. It's. <laughs> that's amazing. It's not. <laughs> wow. Oh. Oh! Oh! I wanted to see more of that! Come on, man. When lesbians turn into weapon. Yes, that is Valkyrie Drive. Yes. You, you, they're so gay for each other that one of them turns into a weapon and they like fight each other with power of lesbianosity. It's it's a good game. I did stream it once, at least once. I figured I streamed it in English or not. Ooh, good texture alert. I feel like in another world, this is, this was Hello Kitty. It's a better world. 2016 wasn't shit in that world. Oh, this is the same room. Whoa, we've never been here with this texture before. See, there is still some things, like there's some rare combinations of textures and rooms and stuff that even as we're like 200 days in, we still haven't seen absolutely everything. I mean, some of the stuff will be fairly minor, of course, uh, but... That's... That sure is that. I'm gonna sleep real good after this stream. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sleep like a baby being drowned in a river. I miss that. The, the freaking lewd textures in the moon tree cottage or whatever it's called. It's some really interesting crap to look at. I'm in space. Dad, are you space? Yes, son. We are a family now. Oh. Oh, the perspective is just fucked here. I thought... Oh, I'm waking up already. It's, it, sometimes the vision doesn't fade when you wake up, and I think it's crashed, but it hasn't. Hey. Hey, lady. Hey, lady. Hey, lady. Where are we going? Where are we going? Let's go to space. What's your favorite thing about space, chat? Mine is space. I'm, I need- we're gonna- we're gonna stream Portal 2 at some point, by the way. Uh, there's a lot of things I want to stream lately, and I need to not lose track of them. I need to start using Trello again. Trello... I used to use that for project management, but not really. Oh! Hey! My dreams have been answered. It's this texture again. I believe this is called the sexual texture, and I- You can probably guess why. Um, some... Some of them do not look as sexual. This man, who's this man? This, this is the ideal male body. You may not like it, but this is what peak performance looks like. Four eyes, four noses, and one con congruitous pair of lips. Oh, hey babe, you wanna, you wanna go out? It's like photo negative lady. I don't even know. Is that sex on that wall? I, I don't feel like I should look at that wall anymore. I want to see where creepy butt, face butt lady takes me. Oh, I think she disappeared. Oh, there's the astronaut. This wall is just pink meat. I think, I don't know what that is. But I, don't, I feel like I shouldn't look at it on Twitch. What are these? The, they're fists. They're like gooey fists. Portal 2 co-op? That could be fun, too. Um, I was thinking, like, the main story for the laughs and stuff. Um, but we could do co-op at some point, too. I miss Wheatley. Wheatley. Wheatley was very good. 
have got a very minor case of severe brain damage. Horses! Mr. Horses. Horse ebooks come back. Spoiler alert, horse ebooks was just a dude making jokes. I remember people being surprised by that, and I... It, it seemed fairly obvious to me, but it was it was funny while it lasted. Drill is a good account, by the way. <laughs> he was making fun of the stupid hashtag respect cops or something. Like some cops got some water poured on them. Oh no, poor things. It was like oh, I forget what it was. Of course, the e works was too clever. Yeah, it really was. Like. Some of them look like algo-generated, almost kind of, like repeated words and stuff. Um, but a lot of it was too obviously funny. Like, there, there are funny bots that generate, like, random garbage and stuff, but they're pretty obvious. Like, there's a lot of misses in those. Speaking of good Twitter bots, there's, uh, Pokemon Vietnamese Crystal is really good. For Mother Volcano Baked Meat. Some good stuff in there. I guess I should just die. Guess I'll die. But yeah, um, that dying is actually a good way to speed up the process, I guess, because you always wake up when you die. So, I guess if I can, I'll die, because I really want to get to the end of the game. Which, yeah, ending day 365. See, another 120 days, unfortunately, but... We've come this far. Alright, so this is the exit. To the field, right? Come on. Excuse me. I had a big old steak before the stream. I'm bursting. If I can, I'll die. Yes. Oh, this is Monument Park! There's a weird thing that can happen in here, too, but I... It seems to be very rare. Very expensive. There it is! Uh, now that I know, there's so many things in this game that, that seem like they never happened, but once you know they're there, they're pretty easy to find. So there's just freaking Zeppelin there. There's Graf Zeppelin. I don't know if it does anything. Let's just watch it. I was like, I've looked at that tower how many times now? I think you have to look up. I think you specifically have to look up while looking at it. And otherwise you just won't see it. You drop bombs on us or something? I think it just does what it does. It does what it do. Oh, the huge manatee! Come on, I right, you. This place gives me a weird vibe of like edutainment games. It's one low, low flying slow zeppelin. It's supposed to be distant and big. With these PS1 games, you kind of got to do forced perspective because big things. This one was not amazingly. I mean, Fort Style was like fine. But... Oh, Mr. Train. Let's look at Mr. Train's face. It's very good. There he is! Thomas, you look so different. You must tell me what you're using to exfoliate. Children's spleens, I see. Freaking green sky. I don't even. Does this game even have a normal sky? <laughs> I, I don't remember if this has like a normal blue sky at any point. It's very often green. Oh, he's the he's the regular texture of Mr. Face Man. Green screen the sky. I could. I could. Let's see if I remember how to do this. Transform. Edit. No, not transform. Um, uh, I don't. 
remember how to do this. Filters, filters. Uh, chroma key. Uh, that's a bit much. Wait, no, I need color key, not chroma key, right? Yeah, color key. Color key green. There you go! There we go. And then I just need to put a nice image in the background. There we go. Beautiful. I love this game. Does anyone feel very judged? What is that? Why 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 do I feel judged now? Ooh! Sky window. I'm just gonna leave that green screen filter on, so if Oh! If I fell into the floor. I like that room, by the way. It's it's one of the more surreal, like, or more abstract elements. Everything's surreal, but it's like, very unique and not like, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, but I like it. Not that one. I want to read you another story. Tuesday, February 5th, 1991. On Rushing River. I'm walking around an unpaved, rocky road with someone. I can see the remains of a dried up riverbed on the road. We were trying to walk further up along the bank. Suddenly, the sound of a siren starts roaring from somewhere. Water starts gushing into the dead river from above. The force of it is so strong, it even sprays... It even sprays... us standing on the bank. Riding on the flow, youngsters in a dragon-shaped roller coaster-like boat come towards us, screaming with excitement. graphics in this PS1 game. How do they get the skybox like that? It's so good. It's so high resolution, too. I'm kind of sad that I found out that he's not, in fact, a spider still. <laughs> we may have to restream Undertale at some point. Oh, Mr. Peacock! How you doing? This is NBC. I forgot it just kind of like strobes. Take me to your dreams. Oh. We're on the pain floor again. Killing floor is two floors down. This is the pain floor. I'm just gonna leave that chroma key on, just for when you least expect it. Gooby, please. Oh, hey, okay. I have a sneaking suspicious. I went and did a speed test. I think I'm... I think there's fuckery afoot. I think it could have just been temporary. I don't know, but... I'm gonna try it. Next time, whenever it goes down, I'm gonna try doing a speed test. And see if it go goes back up. I was down to zero. Oh wait, hold up, does the train look amazing? I see some pixels. Oh, it's psychedelic, I love that. Look at that, that's a good train, I like it. Human train, I like it. I'll touch the train. Good ideas, good ideas, yes! Let's go to the freaking violence zoo. Oh, here we go. This is the thing I was talking about. You gotta look at like, wait. It's not here. It's not here. This. I like this map, by the way. It looks really cool. 
There's supposed to be a weird rotating thing in here. Frick. Heck. Well, maybe next time it'll be there. What's that? What's that in the sky? Oh! Oh. <laughs> Guide me, Yoshi. Guide me through these trying times. Guide me. May his nose be our light in the darkness. Peaceful music here. Very ill fitting to the sky. I freaking love the backgrounds in Yoshi's Island, by the way. They're they're amazing and they don't get enough love. Lasers. Oh, here we go. green screen too it only happens when the sky is like that exact color i was afraid it would happen for like the trees and stuff but the color key matches it really well i guess this is close to like regular sky i was asking earlier if there is ever a regular sky color this is like regular nighttime The stream's gonna be a pain in the butt to sew back together. You're gonna have to glue your stream back together, Tap Tap. And how? Which I can only assume is where you get your internet from. Oh, we're in Bridge World. Bridge music. I like it. I'm fast. Sometimes you get fast. Sometimes you're a speed boy. Oh, there's an eclipse! For a really low-fi butt with one of the cheeks a different color. But let's just say it's an eclipse. Stream dead? Stream is not dead. Stream, stream should be fine. Let me refresh my thing, but I'm not dropping frames or anything. That was weird. It's uh, OBS told me I was back. I was cracking jokes. Kermit made fun of my internet and you missed it. Oh, whatever. It'll be in the VOD. That freaking sucks. How long has it been down? I, I, here I thought it was just fine. It went, I fixed it, but no. I'll just blame it on Mediacom or Twitch. Only a minute or so. Weird. It wasn't dropping frames, but I had to drop and reconnect. This is gonna be a pain in the butt to sew back together. There's so many different clips I'm gonna have to put in. At least it's low, low-fi and everything. It shouldn't be too slow to render. Just went black. Crash. <laughs> Fucking figures! F f figures. <sighs> As the butt. Now, did you see the butt though? It's like a butt eclipse. Look at it up there at the top. But yeah. Freaking crash after all that. Did we save? I've been trying to save after every day, and that's exactly why. This is what butts look like in 1995. You, you couldn't have too much of the butt. But back then, we found that butt. That was even better. That was even better than the butts we have today. Butts we have today? Too, too, there's too many curves. There's too many pixels. For me, just two perfect spheres. One of them slightly darker than the other. That's what butts is. And we liked it. So, 
I'm so done with this. This is an emulation thing, by the way. This is real. This is, um, you know, I'm playing this on a real PS3. Um, the game just crashes. Got some music going on. Hell is oh, those things like spawn in the sky. That's adorable. The little kabuki dooders. Take me. Oh, they're freaking. It's a tengu. He's the Twitch cop here to report. Oh, I'm in the ceiling. Oh, no, I'm not. Much as I like this game, I do wish there was a bit more of it. I guess I could say that about most things that I like, but... Mr. Mr. Fishman. Like, I feel you end up rehashing the same content a lot more than you do in, say, Yumi Nikki. But this was very early for anything like this, any kind of experimental... anything, really. So this is still... this is really cool. D d the the creator of Yumi Nikki is really secretive and like does not want to be internet famous or anything. But so I don't know if they've ever had like interviews or anything. Oh, hello, Yoshi in the sky. Yoshi in the sky with diamonds. Um, but did did they ever state LSD Dream Emulator as an inspiration for their thing? It's straight up called Dream um, Dream Diary, and they're both based off of that. But I don't know. Music. It's got a good flow to it. This is the closest thing to dancing I can do in this game. It kind of never starts, but it's kind of bopping. Alright, so anytime I can die, I'm just gonna die. Just so we move forward. We can't let our dreams be dreams. Boom. Yeah, because we gotta, at some point. I love how it says I've been streaming for four minutes now. Because of all of the different problems we've had. We've, I've had to kill the stream, what, three or four times? Thanks for sticking me, with me through all this. But crap, I I know it sucks on your end. It sucks on my end too. It's it's Medicom's fault. I'm sitting in a throne of lies. Yes, ascend. Some good piano work here. Oh, foot town. Oh, the butt is back. Oh wait, no, we we only got half of the butt. That's not sexy. I guess the eclipse was like a thing specifically. I like all the different suns. Like, I, I wish there was more stuff like that. Like the sun is pretty varied. I feel like there could have been a fair bit more. Oh, hello, little river geisha. How are you doing? There's a little statue dude. Oh, that's freaking creepy. There's a statue dude in the back paddling. I kind of wish I could hold my head still at an angle. I can't. That's, that's creepy. Full butt. No, the butt is so bright you don't see it. it. You don't see the rest. Any butts in the sky? Nah, it's 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 daylight. The butts only come out at night. That sounds like a good like horror slash porn like short story. The butts only come out at night. I'm just gonna walk into walls. Ooh, Violence District. We had music for like a brief moment. Alright, it's this stuff. This stuff that we're gonna try to see in the freaking Violence District. I don't know exactly when it happens. There's a sailor? You gotta look up, and when there's a sailor, you can like look up, and there's like a plane. I guess. I don't 
know exactly how it works. And then there's another FMV finisher in. The oh, there is music. This is for the Enderman. Look at that boat. By the way, we don't get a company boat trip this year. It kind of sucks. We're we're going to a baseball game instead, I guess. But there's gonna be burgers and like dogs and stuff, hot dogs. So I'll just eat a bunch of burgers and talk to people and dick around on my phone. And we get like a private deck thing for it, so like we won't just be like sweaty and sitting in like a shitty seats all day, so like, it, it won't be too bad for baseball. I don't think I've ever been to a baseball game in person. Is this the fourth one? There's supposed to be a ghost in one of these. It's Spooskum's ghost. <laughs> we gave y'all a new off- Mr. Ghost Man! There he is! Freaking Pyramid head? Oh god. He's coming. He, it's coming right for us. Very slowly. It's very. It's very slowly coming this way. Mr. Pyramid. This is, oh. Baby noise. I'm frozen. <laughs> the textures overlapped onto him. I think this gives us an FMV. Yeah, it does! Sweet! All right, there's just two more FMVs that we can get. And we might have seen some of them. I don't think I've seen this one. I would remember Mr. Ghost Man. The violence district outside. I freaking love the violence. That looks like a Sonic level, actually. That looks like Oil Ocean. That was Oil Ocean, guys. Oil Ocean is canon part of the Violence District. Lore database updated. I like the baby noise it made. Babies, why are babies and kids so freaking creepy? It, it works really well. That was considerably higher quality than that of the other FMVs. I love boing step. We're back at Mr. Face Man. Oh yeah, this is a pretty normal sky. It's kind of like a sunset. Kind of pink sunset situation. Piecing together the combined LSD Sonic. Speaking of the Sonic and LSD universe, this is them practicing for that song. Um, something Stardust Speedway? This this is them. This is that dude practicing that weird thing that he does. That's such a good song too. But like, what the what is with the guy going? Like what? Vaporwave sky. Yes. I love that this is clearly just a person going every minute or so. Looks like an old space area level. Kind of does. And into the ravine. LSD, 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 LSD. ASDF, ASDF, ASDF. I kind of wish there was different menu screens and stuff, like on different days. Just give a, a little variety. The game does. It has really good variety in some ways, and not in others. Oh. We're back, except it's falling downstairs music now. Oh hey, it's like a big ol' Sakura tree. Oh, it's just a regular tree. But it's big. Take me to your dreams, Mr. Tree. Oh, I just realized we need to play Mist at some point in Uru. I actually liked Uru. I never played the online feature. I, it was so weird to me that it was sold for like the online feature. Like it was gonna be, it was such a big thing, and it shut down pretty early. But um, all right, let me see how to find this man. Just or the airplane at the docks. 
Alright. Eh? What do you mean? The aeroplane? Why is it spelled aeroplane? Oh, that's a good texture. We've never seen that texture. What the hell? Good chance of appearing when the sailor's at the waterfront looking towards the sea, it may appear. Typically crashes waterfront. All right, so we just need to keep looking at the waterfront here. Yeah, I liked Uru. Oh, uh, there's bodies. There's a few d murdered body things that can happen that I don't think we've seen. Like, there's a dude kicking a body. So we'll try to see that if we can. But the airplane one has an FMV, so I want to prioritize that. Oop. Oh, will it happen? Oh, which one is it? There it is! There it is! There's one where there's like four people hung from the same light. Um... I haven't had that one happen. I've had a lot of one bodies. I don't know what it means by the waterfront either. Like, there's a lot of waterfronts. You can fall in that hole, by the way. You just, it just ends the dream. It's not interesting. I think it's this. I think it's this area. I think I've never gotten this one because I think you have to look up. Looking towards the sea, it may appear when it does, it typically crashes in the water with a flash. There's like water slash meat noises going on. I wish the violence district was easier to get to, it's pretty neat. It's like Pill signs. Get your pills. Grabbing pills. That'd be another good thing for a co-op stream, some Left 4 Dead. I've never played too much of that. Is that... Is that Mr. Salomon? Hey, that's Mr. Salomon! Yeah, he just nopes out of existence. Chance of appearing when the sailor is at the waterfront. fighting game thing. FMV finisher! Um, the only other one we need is in the gearbox place. I'll look up how to get to there next. But... Frick frack, it doesn't seem to want to happen. Oh well. I'm glad we saw the ghost, that was pretty good. There can be people killing each other in here. Oh! Rest in pieces, broski. Hey, you know. It's a big town, things happen. Happen. Happen, Mr. Play Off, oh, Violence District with sexual textures needs to be more common. <laughs> I love that sentence on its own, but yes, I do agree that I don't think we've ever seen that happen. Um, yeah, there's one that I've got a picture of it with like eyes on the floor and shit, and I've never, I don't, 
I've seen it with weird textures a couple times, but it was just like the kanji textures. I kind of wish this had a mode where you could just force the textures, honestly. Like after you've done like 200 days or something. Because I just want to see certain things at this point. The first hundred or so days, I was pretty much just enthralled and digging around and finding stuff. But at a certain point, I do kind of want to speed up the experience a little bit by dying a bunch, basically. <laughs> Mr. Bunner squeal. My controller charged enough now. Oh, it's fully charged, good. Aw, oh, fuck you. Oh, it's... You know what, I don't even fear you anymore. It doesn't even matter. In the end, it doesn't even matter. He just takes away my flashback, and I never use that feature. Because I just want to continue through the days. Cool. Is it gonna happen? I think it just happens every time you get close to this thing. Maybe? Ah! There he is! There he is! <laughs> yeah, that one's actually not percentage based then. That's just, I just haven't walked that close to the thing. Lincoln Kermit. Yes. He would definitely listen to Lincoln. Lincoln Park. Screw you guys, I'm gonna go listen to Linkin Park. What is this? It's like a mini space needle with like a solar panel for a base. Music's alright. Alright. Guess I'll die. Let me read you, let me read y'all fine peoples some more stories. Tuesday, November 19th, 13th, 1990, catching a frog. Out above the town of Temerachi Sanjo, the street is a deep river. What? The water comes up to my chest. I'm immersed in the water. A big golden fish is lying near my foot like it's dead. My bare toes are touching the slippery skin of the fish. And it's really disgusting. There's a house by the river, placing a fish tank on the riverbank. I'm putting some fish and algae in the river in it. There are stones among the street. Old-fashioned black door. Looks as old as an Edo period merchant house. The door is firmly shut. Find a small frog and try to catch it. I'm squeezing its soft body, but the disgusting feeling woke me up. Even after I was awake, the feeling left in my hand scared me. Don't crush frogs, guys. Oh my god, this Nintendo Switch frog. Hold on. You, you need to see this. Fuck. Switch things. There you go. Oh, we're blue again. Why are we blue again? I just told you. NVIDIA, you fuck. And for once, it actually, the colors actually really matter. It forgot my thing! Shit. What do you do? What do you do? What? What? No! Color depth RGB. Why is it like this? What the fuck? There we go. It's a Nintendo Switch frog! There he is? Man, I, I don't know what's up with this stupid thing. It should save my settings. It should save my settings even when I unplugged the thing. Ugh, whatever. Saturday, October 6, 1990. Escape of the Lions. Excuse me? Uh, uh, 
pen, a panoramic harbor. Excuse me? What happened here? Oh, oh, that's just the thing if you go idle on this screen. Okay. A panoramic harbor. There are many ships docked here. Two lions, a father and a child, are being chased. The father lion is taken away somewhere. The cub, chased by a navy captain, runs around the harbor and falls into the sea. He survives and hides in a ship to search for his father. Oh, fuck you. Oh. Um, further inside the harbor is a mountain trail leading to an entrance path, Tori, and a shrine. I can see the father lion being led beyond the stone pavement inside the grounds. A guard is blocking the way in. Oh, Geisha lady. I don't know if you're usually here. Boop! New from Nintendo, Nintendo Ribbit! You gotta love that. Uh, here is a, is a page full of just lion drawings. Monday, September 17th, 1990, SM show. I turn on what may be a TV or stereo inside the room without a picture tube and images projected. It's a woman with brown hair lying down, wearing an obscene red dress and red stiletto heels. She is performing a sex scene with a guy in an odd futuristic costume. Both of them are getting off on touching weird places on her body, like the heels of her feet and the undersides of her breasts. Those are pretty normal places, actually. The whole mood is perverted. Maybe I'm just watching a porno flick. <laughs> the whole mood is perverted. I'm watching a sex scene. The mood is perverted. Okay. You just porn in your dreams. These ones are Japanese. Monday, January 16th, 1990. Cat's coming home. My white cat and calico cat came back to our new house. Both of the cats go upstairs to my parents' room. The calico cat is angry for having been abandoned. But at the same time, he seems very happy to be back. These feelings are all mixed up in his mind, and he is biting my dad's arm in excitement. <laughs> That's a cat for you. It won't let go, so I want to grab a box of Kleenex to throw it at him to calm him down. That's a cat owner pro tip. That is not how you calm cats down. Um, but I can't move my body. I gather my strength to do it, try it again, but I woke up instead. I'm back in the dream again. I tell my dad about the dream I just had. I'm going back to pick up the cats. Four of us, my mom and dad, our older brother and myself, we get on the bus and return to our home in Gion. Then we find a white cat, weak and curled up where we hang the laundry. It seems to have been made a nest-like place by collecting pieces of cloth from there, here and there. As we run towards it, it repeats in a very weak, sad, mechanical voice, So good to see you. So good to see you. The voice of the cat, which I hear for the first time, is so pitiful and I'm overwhelmed. It seems like it had been tied up there by someone. It looks so feeble. We come back to the new house, not letting the cat tighten me. Aww. I want to see if I can get the train to appear, because bumping into the train caboose went to the gearbox. There's a Big Mac tonight, or whatever. Speaking of Big Macs, this is a McDonald's very close to my work. Like, one of the few places that's, like, a minute or two away, basically. I've been kind of wondering, is anything at McDonald's, like, actually good lately? Bumping into the train caboose went to the gearbox. N no innuendos, no. Oh, what the hell? It's a complex-ass train thing. There's Mr. Handsman. He's like a relative of the, um... Mr. Ghostman, Pyramid Headface. Aw, oh, fuck you. You already stole my dreams. That's the train. No, it's not. I don't know what that was. Filet of fish is still good. It's just expensive as fuck. Is filet of fish good? I don't know if I've ever had that. I'm not usually a big fish person. There's like a double quarter pounder. Is that any good? Or is that just like. Is that like better meat? Is the meat still like. 
like five cents worth of like cow product or is it like any better now since everybody needs organic stuff and things they have like salads and stuff but oh mushrooms that is there you go Tap tap, you shouldn't make so many drug references. It's not, it's not funny. It's not interesting. It's not relevant. The creator definitely didn't have any drugs in mind. MC is having a little fit, me thinks. Love the double quarter pounder. It's been a while. I think the last time I went to McDonald's, I just got a shake because I just had some dental work or something. I couldn't eat solid food, so I got a shake. I'm gonna get back to that train because I want to go to the gearbox. Yeah, we ate the mushrooms. Oh frick! But I know. Are there are there fries still bad? The fries. The last time I had the fries. They were like way different and not as good. Uh, hold on. Mediacom? I'm really testing the limits here. I just dumped us down to 500 megabits, or kilobits per second. Are we alright now? Thought they had the best fries. Uh, I don't know if I would say that. I would say Arby's and um, I like Steak and Shake's fries. They're weird small fries, but they're good. Um, and uh, Checkers, Checkers has the best fries. They're seasoned fries. Those are so good. I like those even better than Arby's. They're like Arby's curly fry, like seasoning stuff. But um, they have I don't know, they're just really good. They're straight fries, they're just really good. But yeah, Checkers is really good fries. Do we still have a Checkers here? Checkers is weird because it's rallies in half the country. And sometimes they would run out of like things, so they would have to like order a bunch of like rallies bags and stuff. I see. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> I love stuff like that. I, I wish this, this is why I wish the game had more like random crap like that. This is just boat. And that's just all there is. And I've never seen that boat before, I don't believe. It's just there. It's like, why not? Boat. Whee! Sonic. I'm not sure if I've ever eaten in a Sonic. But yeah, I haven't eaten much fast food since I was Tiny Bab. For the best, I suppose. So I hate that LA Times fast food had rallies at the bottom. They must be like those people that think mayonnaise is too spicy. So they can't handle the fries. They're so good. There's a, there's a little bit of a grit to it. I can see why some people wouldn't like it necessarily. Oh, but they're so good. They got a they got pretty good chili dogs too. I would usually get chili dog and fries. You know, I'm making me want unhealthy food. Unfortunately, I've already eaten a big ass steak today, so I will not be eating any more food. I probably won't even be hungry too. It's next morning. How do we get to the freaking gearbox? I don't know. We'll, we'll try for the plane whenever we can. But what's this gears? 
the gears room. Has no entrance, exit tunnel. Oh! This music is particularly inappropriate for this region. There's the sound of somebody drowning a baby. I love the rapid fire honking. Come on, plane. And once again, we always get the normal textures at this place. It's a shame. It looks really interesting with some of the other textures. Sailor Man, who's over here, right? No sailor this time. What to do with the drunken sailor? Come on, plane. Do your thing. Oh, I just want to get the last FMV finishers. Just like real planes or boats. Just like real life. And there's the murder one. See that one. Boring. <laughs> I love this inappropriate music. Alright, we don't need to go see the ghost or saw him. Um, there might be more people being murdered around town, though. Um, check some of the alleys. <sighs> Accessible by linking with the gra various graffiti in the mar in the oh. So if we link to the graffiti, we can go to the gearbox. If we see graffiti, looking at the mechanical contraption in the lobby, we'll trigger the FMV. Okay, so we got to do it for a while. So both things we need go in the violence district. Is that no, it's not graffiti? I don't think there's any graffiti today. <sighs> Man, how dare this be the one day they clean up the graffiti? clean. What is this music? This place really gives me Mega Man Legends vibes. Those under those under the ground city things. Yeah, that lady will wake us up, so let's leave her alone. Oh, it's, the the thing had the controller hadn't been hurting my hand for a while, but now it's that pain's coming back, boy. No graffiti here, this is ridiculous. That's the problem with percentage-based things, I guess. Good old RNG. Ridiculous? Hello, Douglas. Would you like to go to the violence district? You can buy me a new grill. There's no fucking graffiti in this. Ooh! Hoopsed. 
what the hell? That's new. It's a little kid in the violence district alone. Unescorted, playing like hoopscotch. Let's go into her dreams. Oh! I think we're in the floor. Oh, no we're not. Oh, this is the gargle step. I love the gargle step. Hear the girls in the... I hear the grill of the violence district with a 5% less chance of exploding. Yes. Very expensive. I think there's a- yeah, there it is. It's a girl playing hoop stick. Before video games, I just imagined that everyone played hoop stick at all times. That was the one way of enjoying oneself. The only, the only state authorized and mandated way of having fun was hoop stick. Ever just been in the mood to play hopscotch with body outlines? Yes. Oof. Oh right, that thing led me to the gearbox. I can get through there. If you touch the caboose, you get to the, the gearbox. So that works too. Do, do, do. <laughs> this one's nice and interesting. Alright, into the ravine. How many days have we progressed? And remember about what day we started on? I know we've gone at least ten. That feels like too few though. It still feels like it's gonna be more than one stream. How's the video looking, by the way? I'm streaming at pathetically low bitrate, like humiliatingly low bitrate. Let me look. Okay. Here we go. Oh, hey Yoshi. Yeah, it's pretty freaking bad. Uh, let me see if I can bop it back up. I'll just let you look at this while I... Let's try one. Just one megabit. Is that too much to ask, Mr. Mediacom? Please, Mr. Mediacom. May I have some more internet, please? My family's starving. We don't have any internet to eat. Alright, one megabit seems fine for now. The game looks fine at this. What's the name of that, like, meme slash video? I never know how to, like, tell people about the Screaming Yoshi video. I mean, maybe if you just Google Screaming Yoshi, it'll happen, I don't know. We haven't been to the freaking Moon Power... Moonflower Cabin or whatever this is called very much. Usually we end up here, like, every dream or so. It's been a very rare occurrence today, it's weird. Let's find Mr. Human Baby. Aw, oh, slow stairs. Okay, Mr. Mediacom appears to be unhappy that I'm trying to stream at one megabit. If it drops again, we'll fix that. All the freaking birds. Oops, small. I want to see the giant baby. So you just immediately fall and wait end the dream. But you usually you never trapped exactly. There's some rooms that you can only leave by like linking to a wall. I don't know if you call it trapped or not. Oh, 
with the wall puke. Ah, here we go. Gearbox, maybe. Hopefully. Nothing doing. It's not, it's not quite what I was expecting, but I'll allow it. If we've gone 30 days in this stream, that would mean like three more streams, I guess? That's still a lot, considering we've... If I can get these last two FMVs, We've basically seen everything. I might just get a YouTube video and show you the FMV at that point. Um, I would like to do it, but maybe... It's called Yoshi.mp4, I guess. I guess that works. Freaking laser sounds. I just need to get to back to the gear room. Figures. We got there once in this stream, but the... Uh, Contraption wasn't there, so we couldn't do it. Who's playing Pac-Man? Shut it up back there. Shut it up, you. Shut it up, me. I was saving that one for about two seconds ago. Perfect timing. Yes. Best track. Oh, it's got some of the whistle in it. I'm dancing. Um, I feel like Coach Z with these dance controls. One, two, one, two. About to freestyle. One, two. One, two. This is my jam, though. It's freaking jamming. I love how we stay within the face, more or less. Dream chart. We'd never really end up completely batshit anywhere. Speaking of batshit, we haven't seen Mr. Bunners. That was that was pretty good. Mr. B Mr. Bunners and the demon happened within like 10 minutes of each other. That was incredible. Actually, it was more like, maybe it was more like five minutes. It was brief. I can't believe we can't get to the gear room. I like the gear room a lot. It's a really unique look to it. Wait. This is the Vine Sauce um, track. It's got duck. The birds. The birds aren't here today. Instead, there's book. Chipmunk noise. I want to see if Mr. Human Baby is here. Oh frick, I touched the wall. We haven't seen human baby man. Oh here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, oh yes, yes! This is my jam. Whoa. Nani? What? You fuck! You fuck! God damn it, no! The dream just started. The dream just started and I got to a place I wanted to be. And the game's like, nope, you're waking up. <laughs> Screw that, you're going home. The game just marched me. <laughs> we were just here. Ah, 
Man! I just want to get back to the violence district. Everything we need is in the violence district. That music was amazing, actually. I should have stayed for that. But I'm trying to keep going fast. Gotta go fast? I can't- I, I'm streaming at such a low bitrate and it's still dropping. I- this... Mediacom is driving me insane. I'm sure the OST is on YouTube or something. Nani? Why do I keep waking up here? Oh, this track again. Oh, no butt. No sky butt today. the moon flower hotel thing? Oh my god, Mediacom, please, why do you suck so bad? Uh, it's procedural to some degree, but there's like... Kind of... There's like some repeated things. I imagine you could, like, have the major try. Why do I keep waking up so fast? I mean, I kind of want to progress through things, but... But it's weird that it just keeps doing that. And freaking, I keep dropping down to zero bitrate for, like, one second every minute. Is it... Is the stream getting bad for you all, or is it watchable still? Hello. UFOs. Oh, the UFOs were glitched up. Oh well. I should get to that violence district. Oh, some good colors here, but we've seen this before. Like, everything we need is in the violence district, and it's like one of the rarest places to get to. And the thing is, getting to the violence district on the map, I could technically do it, but it takes really... Isn't there a way? I mean, yeah, but it's a real pain in the booty. It, it would be a lot faster. It would be a lot faster if I just happened to teleport there from linking to a wall. But that doesn't seem to want to happen. Ah! Prove me wrong, game. Oh, son, that, um... Yeah, the decision that you can't indict a sitting president, it was actually won by one of, um... Uh, Nixon's, like, appointed men trying to protect him, so it's, like, the most invalid, like, legal advice. And it's just a memo, it's not, like, binding principle or anything. It's basically complete horseshit, and it makes no sense that it's being followed. But that's just American government at the moment. The least sensible thing is done at all times. Come on, plane. Laser music. I just want this plane to happen. I have to be on this thing. It just says looking out at the water, it's not very specific. It says it happens most of the time when the sailor is there. There's no sailor, so I think I'm just gonna touch the graffiti. It's like beyond parody, like, oh. Obviously Nixon's guys understand, you know, whether you should arrest a sitting president or not. It's, it's not like he was a criminal that should have been arrested or anything, no. Where's the graffiti? 
There's usually graffiti everywhere, now that I know... Oh. <laughs> Just giving him a kick. Kick. Yeah. Let's leave those two alone. Here we go. Fuck! It's not here! Shit! Oh, god damn it. Good music, though. Oh, oops. Where in the violence district is the freaking graffiti? Oh, I think this is the room where the human baby man shows up, so he's not here this time. Uh, bird sounds, but no bird cage. This game doesn't want me to see the things I want to see today. Very uncooperative. Oops. Oh, I want to walk into the birdcage. Ooh! Another chance. A chance to dream. That's a mistake. <laughs> Do not look up, because you bump into shit. It's way too easy to accidentally link. Stupid. Very foggy today. <sighs> Get me back from the violence district. No! Man. We're so close to, like, a breakthrough. Ooh! Sailor Man, please. Aw, oh, Mr. Sailor Man's not here! I just want fr this freaking plane. I really wish it was more specific about getting the plane to appear. It says it usually happens when the sailor is there and he's not. So we're gonna look for graffiti again. That one happens like every single time. There she is. Please tell me I touched it right. No! No, you fuck! You fucking fuck! I'm just gonna pretend I'm looking at it. It's never here! Why is it never here? Maybe the texture has to be normal? Man, that sucks! That's why I'm not a big fan of like the- oh. Oops. Oops. Well, we finally got a different texture in the Violence District. It's not the sexual one, which is the really rare one. But, uh... second chance, like a 15th chance. It's gotta be there some point. 
There's like a bird being stepped on in this track. I don't like it. Leave that bird alone. Hey teachers, leave that bird alone. Ah, oh, here's graffiti. Graffiti is different in this world. Graffiti is normally in the northeast section. It's just an FMV with a bunch of gears. <sighs> Waterfront is the eastern edge for your reference. Ooh. Yeah, this happens sometimes. Where you're just up here, and the moment I move, I'm gonna die. But you get a nice view. Of the mystery buildings. And dead. Says graffiti is used. Does it say where the thing? Let me zoom up. Spiral tower. <sighs> what else? I'll try one more time for the gears thing, and then I think I'll just see if I can get a FMV, like a list of or a video with all the FMVs or something. And we can scroll through a little bit more of the PDF. The PDF I really do recommend. It's pretty impressive stuff. Valley tree. I'm not sure how good the FMV is gonna look at this bit rate, but it'll be in the VOD at a higher quality. One more try for the violence district to not disappoint me. getting late for a Wednesday. Oh yeah, this weekend? Oh! Oh, hello! <laughs> I didn't even mean to do it that time. Yeah, this is like the fourth time we've seen that guy. I had never found this guy for like nine videos. Nine streams. Now he's just my best friend. <laughs> oh shit, what a... Oh. Mystery zone. So, isn't this episode 8? That's just the image. That's just, I, I don't have numbers made. Oh, here he is. Whoa. Now we know what that sound is. Guys, that sound was a can. This whole time, that sound was a bouncing can. Look at my Mega Man Legends Let's Play. Well, we found something new, at least. Mediacom. Mediacom, please. My family. My family. or the gearbox. I don't even need to see both of them. It's probably a YouTube video with all the FMVs, so I'll just watch it. We've, we've seen like 99% of what this game has to offer. At some point we'll probably try the, um, that germs game. So that's a good sign for the, uh, I think it has to be normal textures for the gear, the machine thing. Oh, he's here! Yeah, he is. So is this actually... I'm gonna see if this thing has a map for, um, 
Violence District. There's a freaking spaceship in the Violence District, by the way, and a dumpster thing. I've never seen those. We'll, we'll scroll through the PDF at the end here. Violence District. Darkest creepest area. Giant chance and no music. It doesn't really specify where the plane appears. I keep hearing wind noises, and I think it, maybe it's the plane, but... I do not see any plane. We'll just look out at the water for a minute. Maybe that's what triggers it? I don't know. Beautiful water. Definitely not static water. Different. Okay, the, the plane has like one more minute to appear. Is that it? There was like a... There was something! Speedboat. Speedboy. for a minute and then we'll look through the we'll find some FMVs on YouTube. Or possibly the other way around, I don't know. There was graffiti somewhere here, but yeah. J Jar. This guy just really likes storage bins. It's here! It's here! It's finally here! FMV. Yes! Alright, we've seen all but one FMV then. This is like an SCP. Super creepy pasta. This is like state of the art technology too. And this many polygons, this many guns being rendered. Wish there was more of those. Alright, so... Um... LSD all FMVs. All scenes, 24 minutes, good lord. Uh... What's the ending? Alright, found it. What, the ending is 30 seconds? You gotta be kidding me. Alright. Please don't be blue. Please don't be blue. Why... Why you gotta do me like this? Why... 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 Why would you be blue? Why would there be any reason for you to be blue? There isn't any reason. Why does it do that? Customize. 
Chorus. Greek. Why, why doesn't it remember? Oh, what, what, whatever. Anyway. Cucumber. That was it? Um, <laughs> okay, hold on. Um, wow. That was final day with ending. Oh, that's the whole day. Yep, that was, that was it. So we're going to see, we're just going to look at all FMVs then. Um, One of these, like, there's like a 10 minute long FMB segment. I think we saw that. Yeah, it was this one. Yeah, these are just these things. Alright. So I think these are the unique ones. I, I'm kind of glad I didn't spend another 100 days just to get that. But we'll see the FMBs here. And I'll read you some of the, I'll read you some of the stories. Nice. Friday, November 10th, 1989. It's a big pond inside the house. I'm swimming in it. And we see a big blue cat floating in the water. It's called a water cat. We are very good friends. It's really soft and I'm hugging and hugging it gives me a warm feeling. The cat can only be with me when I have my contact lenses out. <laughs> he goes back into the water as soon as I put my contact lenses in and can see well. I put on my black outfit and a jacket. Oh, BDCon, thanks. Are we back? Mediacom? Bueller? Bueller? Yeah, Mediacom is getting extremely bad, sorry. We, we already saw this one anyway. Oh, there's the plain one! Alright. I'm gonna start reading you the- when did it cut out in the water cat story? I have no idea when it cuts out. The experience is continuous for me. This is the plain one that we missed. Look at them graphics. Those is real graphics! I heard 1999, 1998 in the pond. Alright, so I'll just start over. There's a big pond inside the house. I'm swimming in it. And I see a big bloated cat floating in the water. It's called Water Cat. We are very good friends. And then it glitched out again. Freaking Mediacom. Um, this cat can only be with me when I have my contact lenses out. It goes back in the water as soon as I put my contact lenses back in and can see well. I put on my black outfit and a jacket and go out. The town is full of juvenile delinquents. I run into my old junior high school. It's located in a dense forest. I climb up the mossy wall and try to get in. But grotesque demons keep me out. I'm running back and forth on the wall. Watercat is following me. Watercat and I jump off the wall and decide to go around to the main gate. The gate looks like a Buddhist temple. Someone opens the gate from the inside and tries to beckon us. Once inside the gate, this temple-like place illuminated by dim candles and people in orange kimonos. Good old Watercat. It's got, it's got dreams about cats all of the time. I don't usually dream, like, with a buddy, like a broski, like, side by side with me. I'm jealous. Wednesday, October 4th, 1989. Rabbit entrails. There are some rabbit entrails. Someone says they are really tasty. They look like a bunch of big dried livers. Someone else says to me to eat them after flipping the skin inside out. I picture a rabbit being skinned and taken apart. Strangely, the image is not at all graphic. Not a drop of blood spills. A concert without music. A play without actors. Great. Good dreams. Quality fucking dreams. Wednesday, October 1989. A daydream. A labyrinthine town. Winding alleyways intertwined like nerves. I'm in one of the alleys. I know where this one's based. 
There, sunlight comes in through like through a skylight. There's some spilt milk on the floor in front of a refrigerator, reflecting in the sunlight. A strange cat. <laughs> Freaking, there's so many cats. There's no cats in the game. What happened? Why was I denied the cats? A strange cat comes and laps up the milk on the floor. I'm right next to the cat watching a scene just like a daydream. But it's actually a regular dream. Wednesday, September 27th, 1989. Bizarre people. I'm exploring some world. It's a fantasy world. I know this place because I've seen it in a dream before. So it feels like I'm re-experiencing a dream I once had. Going up the medieval-looking stone staircase, I see some bizarre people with the bodies of snakes and human heads standing around a square pond. They're all wearing hats with feather ornaments like festival aristocrats, clothed in woven vests, holding at large goblets in their hands. I like the cinematography of that bird's piece there. It's very dramatic. Um, I put big stone- um, wait, what? Golden woven vests and holding large goblets in their hands. I put big stones on their long bodies so they can't move. Can we walk around back down to the bottom of the stone staircase? Okay. What is this? Uh, good jams. Jam alert. Wednesday, September 27th, 1989. Burying the book. I'm burying a book into the deeply dug ground. I'm doing this for the education of children. That's the best dream yet. I'm burying a book into the deeply dug ground. I'm doing this for the education of children. That's all it says. That's the whole dream. That's beautiful. I love it. Monday, July 10th, 1989. Putting on lipstick. I'm putting... Red rouge on someone's lips with a lip brush. I'm lining the edge on the perfectly shaped lips, then filling inside very carefully. I think this is a woman. I can't see any other body parts with the lips. I can see the whitely powdered skin around the lips, but I can't detect the existence of any other parts, such as nose, eyes, or a body. I try my best to put rouge on the lips. From somewhere up above, I hear a person's voice. You have put on too much. You have to put it on much thicker. Ooh, come off. Pushed by the voice, I keep filling in the rouge thicker and thicker and more carefully. <laughs> Yay! It's fish! It's fish! Fish! Oh my god. Fish. A triumph. A real triumph. I love fish. Do you guys love fish? Fish is so dreamy. Monday, June 26th, 1989. A swim in the river. A wide yet shallow river runs through the center of town. We are swimming in the river as if we were drifting. There are many people- This guy <laughs> dreams about rivers, cats, and like meat all of the time. And like labyrinthine towns. There are many people. While swimming together, we seem to be caught by the rapids. I'm not scared. There must be a waterfall. I'm not scared. Friday, May 12th, 1989. The room of the captured elephant. I run into a room. It's a big elephant and a man. The elephant has been completely shoved in. There's practically no space left in the room. This is where we get the expression the elephant in the room. It looks like the man and the elephant are captured in this room together. All I notice are the wrinkles and body hair of the elephant. The man is an elephant trainer. He can freely control the size of the elephant to be big or small. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the media comm is happening pretty bad. I'm just gonna let- I'm just gonna read stories. Let's- Let <laughs> <laughs> Yoshi face! That was a really loud game. Sunday, May 7th, 1989. The Turtle. A school. We're all doing exercises. We go back to our seats. A narrow auditorium classroom. We line up single file and seat ourselves. When I get to my seat, I see a small turtle. Shell is cracked, as if it has fallen from somewhere. I find a container for this turtle and decide to keep it. But I'm worried I won't be able to keep it for long. This kid's gonna, like, 
have a rock dropped on from above and like crush them. Saturday, May 6, 1989. Red fruit dug out of the sand. A place where small bonsai-like trees have been planted. In a ditch under the tree, the ground was soft and sandy. I'm digging in the sand. A red fruit the size of a plum pops out. The more I dig up the sand, the more red, round fruit comes out. I'm excited as I keep digging the sand, cradling the red fruits in one arm. The touch of the very soft, warm sand. The red fruit. Friday, April 28th, 1989. The boy who fell. A boy is walking alone on a road deep in the forest. At the, road, at the end of the road, deep inside the forest, the slope of a sheer mountain is visible. The slope... On the slope were lots of lights glowing like human souls, like fireflies scattered about. A car goes by, carrying the boy. Towards the slope, he falls. I'm watching the scene. I walk down the slope and see many dead souls lying about, the fragrance of the fallen car. The boy is bleeding to death horribly. In the car, another man sits, decapitated. Somehow, I'm not scared. I'm just watching the disastrous situation very naturally, as if it was some ordinary scene in my life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Yoshi happens if there's like extremely bright green. I'd forgotten about that. Oh, this one's a good one! When's April 19th? That's my birthday! A year before my birth, creepily enough. Uh, when's April 19th, 1989? Just the bottom half of an opera singer. A very fat Italian opera singer is singing. His body, with a stout belly like a beer barrel, has been cleanly cut through with the belt line. The cut surface looks very even, like that of a ham, and all I can see are the patterns of pinkish meat. He is, therefore, only standing there from the waist down. The huge pair of pants he's wearing is immaculate. Unbelievable considering that the upper half of his body is missing. The creases are even pressed. Even from only the waist down, he conveys an extraordinary neatness. And, in addition, his singing voice is very beautiful and deeply moving to the listener. The voice is coming from the place where his upper body is supposed to be. I like this opera singer very much. If you saw the way these are written, you would understand why I keep getting caught up and like missing words. It's it's a mess. It's fucking garbage. Oh. When'd you lose your passion for typography? And uh, Saturday, April eighth, nineteen eighty nine. An odd park where gardeners plant flowers. I wander through a park in the thin darkness like night. The wide park is bordered by a dense wall of curious flowers. Quite a few gardeners are planting flowers. The soil there is soft, the ground is like filled dirt. There are gardeners who continue to plant flowers in the soft ground, I'm walking on a narrow path lined with ridges of grass. Even the bench on this map is made of these large, curious flowers. Looking at the flower bench, I keep looking, walking and coming to a place where a small stream of flows into a small pond. So, so many streams! I can see gardeners planting flowers on the other side of the pond, too. We hop across the stream on stepping stones. Someone shouts, You can see the biggest fountain in the world! Hearing that, I look up to the sky beyond the forest and see the fountain shoot into the night sky, high and bright as fireworks. The water from the fountain reaches us as a mist. Turt, indeed. This was like a single unbroken FMV for like 10 minutes, by the way. Once it started with, um, I don't know when it was, around with the birds. This to around here, that's all one FMV. I think we saw that. Because yeah, it seems familiar. Saturday, April 8th, 1989. The Raining Room. A room in Kyoto. It's an old-fashioned TV set with legs. Between the legs of the TV is a square coffee table and a dark space is opening on the floor there. The floor underneath... Uh, so hard to read. The floor underneath the kotetsu table, the traditional American kotetsu table, um, in the center of the room is also wide open. It's raining outside in the outside the room. The center, the noise of the rain is very loud. I notice it's raining underneath the ta TV in the room. And the rainwater is dripping into the coffee table and down the floor. I jump up, but there's nothing I can do about it. Looks like there's another dark space in the ceiling as well. So I start feeling the entire room is shrinking. 
Oh, hey, music. Yeah, we're, we're playing the F all the FMVs in the game. Um, and I'm reading some of the dreams in the dream diary thing. Cracking my bones. Entrance of a hotel. Birds again. Low frame rate and birds. It's a good look. Cat! There's a cat. Where have these cats been? I guess they couldn't get cat graphics. Graphics weren't advanced enough for cats. That's a weird cat. It's like half calico, half tabby. Huh. Tuesday, April 4th, 1989. Red Hotel. Entrance of a hotel. I go inside and the whole place is painted red. Lobby in front of me, a corridor leading to the guest rooms going off to the left. It looks like a toy ruler is attached to the corner of the corridor ceiling where it joins the lobby. The ruler is also painted red and the markings a lot running along it carry the children's names assigned to each room. Staring at the ruler, I enter the corridor. There's a... there's a... There's a diagram of a dude. In fact, you know what, I'll just show you. There's a dude hotel. Monday, April 3rd, 1989. A wet old man in a basin. <laughs> Your wake-up call has arrived, Mr. Johnson. Uh, standing outside in the cramped area where the dry, we dry the laundry, is a chubby old man. Rain is pouring down. A tall, thin guy next to him is helping him very quickly back inside. Inside the room, I try to get help. We sit him on a chair. I clean his muddy bare feet and order a girl to get a basin filled with water. I just keep returning to the milky white color of the basin. The basin. I don't remember that one. It looks like we're about done here. Yep, this is the ending again. Alright, so I'll show you a little bit of this book now. We'll have to be flashing colors warning again. This hurts. This was unnecessary. I'm pretty disappointed in the ending, frankly. I don't know what would have been a good ending, but this wasn't particularly it. See, that's the LSD. That's all of the things. Oh, on <laughs> of all of the images, stream banned in in 100 countries. Is that? Apple trees? Oh, frick. What's the... What's the frick? What's the elephant thing? Hello, and welcome to Region Locked. What? No! <laughs> Stupid autoplay. Um, but yeah, the, the whole... The book is pretty neat. This is the dream book. This is not the guide. Well, the guide includes the dream book. Um, but this is something they made to, like, sell along with the game or something. I don't know where it was sold, but it was... Well, it was sold in Japan. I don't know when or the context. But it's, it's pretty neat. They have all this artistic stuff of from the dreams and crap. And yeah, there's these dreams. Most of them seem to be in English. At least half of them, more than half of them are in English. There's some segments like this where it's all in Japanese. I guess when the writer couldn't think of how to do it in English, I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah. Those look like Kirby enemies. Yeah, the book is pretty neat. Um, and this is the guide. Oh, frickin'. Where's the... I hate how it does this. It hides the thing. But yeah, this is the guide, and um, it shows you the different... It shows you the kind of the mechanics, um, and then it shows you each area. There's, like, a map. Like, here's the map of the wilderness. And then sometimes there's maps of the local areas here. And like a nice view of the area. And then there's like different, um, there's little informational things on all the NPCs in the game. It's a really good guide. It's, it sucks that it's only on this like shitty PDF, but it, I asked the developer, the writer, if I could post it on my site because it's like hard to find at this point. <laughs> the, <laughs> the far right one. Or the bottom right one. Dying girl. Mr. Tatter Bears. Uh, let's see if there's any NPCs. Oh, this is a really good map of Kyoto. That's impressive. Is that from the... I don't know if that's from the... 
Like, if that's from the Japanese community or if that was included in the manual or something. The Kyoto Beast. We saw that one. I'm just going to go through all of these and see if there's anything we missed. The Riverboat. Yeah, we saw that one. Giant Head. That guy's a classic. We didn't see that guy tonight. But that guy cracks me up. You crack me up, little buddy. See, there's, some, there's a lot of things that we've seen before. Pool men. Um, that we didn't see today. There's just... It's a really cool and interesting game. Tengu's. Kimono Child. Happy Town. That's a mess of a map. I guess... Huh. I guess it's actually simpler than I thought it was. Maybe it's just how the map is written. Mediacom. Am I allowed to speak? I freak Mediacom is giving me so much shit today. It's amazing that we've managed to keep up the stream. There's Mr. Bunners. Sometimes the dancing will become extremely erratic. By the way, there's a gra writing on the ground the courtyard written in purple block and it reads sex. I'm not even kidding. That's incredible. That's that's great. We've seen those guys, seen those. Do we see? Yeah, we saw them, I think. Webcammax.com. You stream recorded live. Remember when everything had to include shitty watermarks? I don't remember seeing the surfing penguins. That's pretty cool. The dye penguins. Huh. Mushrooms! Yeah, we got those today. Licking them simply dumps you back. Yeah. Ferris wheel. Lips. Yeah, we got the lips a couple streams ago. Oh, the flowers freaking creep me out. Giant person. Oh, yeah, we saw that guy standing up on a thing. We didn't see a bunch of them like this, though. Giant lower bodies with polygon heads. Huh. Oh, violence district mapped. Yeah, that looks about right. Corpses. Just so we have something to listen to, I want to play this again. Just for no context. I hit this girl. Hey, this one! I've, we never got the four in a row. We've seen the one hung person. Shadow Soldier, we got that one. There's the ghost. Spookum's ghost. There's the dumpster. We never got the dumpster people. Dumpster body thing. Southwest corner. Maybe I just never went there. I don't know if that's even. There's a freaking spaceship fresh out of Unreal. I need to stream Unreal sometime too. Oh, there's so many good games. Graffiti. We saw the graffiti. That's, pretty cool. that's what the airplane looks like. Had we gotten it. Oh yeah, and this is the, I think the sexual texture in the um, Violence District. We never got it in in game, unfortunately. Murder in progress, sailor. Hey, there's, there's that dude kicking the corpse that we saw. Whoa! Hey, that person is way more stretched out than ours was. Huh. Hit and temple. So the, oh, lions! Yeah, we saw lions once. Giant turtle. See, so yeah, this will probably be our last time with LSD for a while. Um, we got plenty of other weird stuff to play, though. Um, I just wanted to do it so. Hot air balloons. I don't know if we saw that one. Father and daughter. We saw them. The abyss demon. Weird. That doesn't appear where I kept getting it. Reactions from YouTube peoples. UFOs. Flying sailboat! We got that one. Giant flower. I think we got that. We got that in the desert thing. Poop stick girl. <laughs> that was that was good. We got that today too. That's a good one. That is a good one. Endless corridor dojo. There's no mercy in this dojo! Chair balancer. Guard dog! Did we get a dark dark doggo? I don't remember. 
Where is this? Um, it's on. Uh, there's an archive site with it. Just Google LSD mapping the madness. I'm gonna try and post it on my site if I'm allowed to. I haven't heard back from the dev yet. Or maybe I have, but I just haven't checked my Twitter yet. It's kind of hard to find, but there's one site with it. It's this weird archiving site, and I couldn't even get it to load half the time. But I finally got it. Temple Sumo Wrestlers. I never got this! What is this? Oh, that's a shame. I think I've... Wow. That's a good one. That's a really good one. What's this? Oh yeah, the text-based dream. We haven't- I think we've ran out of text-based dreams. We haven't gotten any of those. Those were really fun. It was really fun to do uh, story time with Google Translate. But we gotta do that anyway this time because I was reading from the PDF. So yeah, that's it. That's all the stuff from the guide. So we have now experienced basically 100% of LSD Dream Emulator. So, thanks for joining me. Um, Chill Wednesdays are hopefully back. Maybe we'll do some Dwarf Fortress or something next week, I don't know. Um, yeah, LSD was fun. Uh, glad, glad I found this guide again. And uh, glad we could see all of the FMVs here. In leisure, the sonorous dream. It's been a hell of a ride. So, thanks for watching, thanks for dealing with the Mediacom BS. And, uh, see you this weekend for, um, let me toss a link in chat. It feels dumber tossing links now that they won't actually be on the YouTube thing, but. Um, this weekend we're streaming Strong Bad Game. Um, Dangerous 3 is Saturday, and then it's 8-Bit um, is Enough on Sunday. And then next weekend, it is time for uh, Mario Party 4 drinking game. So all these ones that have LSD, all the different names of the game, um, these are the ones you get if you just idle on the uh, menu screen. I don't know if we saw all of them originally, but we just saw them today, so. We've got all of the content. I declare the game complete. So, good night. Tap tap here. If you like the video, make sure to subscribe and leave a like if you want. I read every comment posted, so don't embarrass yourself. Social media links in the description, including my Patreon and any relevant links to the game.